So in this video we are going to see how to generate the logic for a pattern. And this is the pattern we are going to see. It is a normal triangle pattern. If you analyze this, we can see in the first row there is one symbol, second row we have two symbols, third row we have three symbols, and the fourth row we have four symbols. It looks like this. So when you look at it, look at as a whole, it, could, it looks quite complex. So what we are going to do is we are going to divide into multiple rows. So first I am going to take the first row. So we are going to write the logic for the first row. To display anything, as you know, we have the object C out use the insertion operator then write whatever you want to display so in our context we have to display the asterisk so so now the code is there after that we have to go to the new line for going to the new line we have to write co slash now the logic for the first row is ready and right now we are in the second row. So let us go to the second row. In the second row, again we have to display asterisk but multiple times. So let us write the logic to display for one time. Now this statement should be executed two times. So as you know that if the state, same statement to be repeated, it should be in a looping context. So I am putting a loop here, while loop, some condition, we will see the condition later. So now I am going to introduce a variable i equals 0. It is only for the iteration purpose and every time I am incrementing this i value. So in the first iteration, i is 0, we are displaying, we will be getting the first asterisk, then i is incremented, then again the condition must be satisfied, only then, once again the second asterisk will be coming. Now we have to stop it. So now, again the i value will be incremented, i value becomes 2. So at that time, it should come up. So we can say that i less than 2. So now, the two symbols are generated from this logic. After that, again we have to go to the new line. For going to the new line, outside the while loop, we have to say that C of slash. So now we are in the third row. Now, we need to write the logic for the third row. So to write the logic for the third row, again, we have to display asterisk several times. As you know, to display asterisk one time, just write C of asterisk. Now this should be executed three times. So I am putting a while loop, some condition, again, ask how we followed, ask how we did in the second row. The same we can run. Some i equal to 0. Then every time we are incrementing the i at this time i less than. How many times it is 0, 1, 2. So i less than 3. So once the entire thing is displayed, we have to go to the new line. C out slash. Now we have the logic for the first row, logic for the second row, logic for the third row and finally now we are in the fourth row. For the fourth row, fourth row, again, display asterisk four times as how we did in the earlier steps. So again, we need a while loop, initially starting with i as zero, every time i plus plus, then i less than 4. 
Then after that, again go to the new line. But right now, no need to write the logic for the fifth row because the fifth row is absent. Now what we have to do is, now check everywhere, in every row, do we have the same pattern of code. If you look at the fourth one, third one and second one, we have the same pattern of code. Everywhere in the equal zero, a while loop and a new line executable statement. So here, in the first row, we don't have the similar pattern. So bring the similar pattern for the first row also. So if I put a while loop, how the things will change? So here also I will write i equals 0 and every time i must be incremented. So we have to write i plus plus here. So c out asterisk i plus plus. Then outside the while loop we have the new. And here it should execute only once. So while i less than 1. So now what we have to do is see we have specific logic for individual row. Now we have to extract the generic logic. To extract the generic logic from all of these, find out what are the things similar. Everywhere we have i equals 0. Everywhere we have a while loop and outside the while loop we have c out slash n and everywhere inside the while loop c out asterisk then i plus plus the only one thing which is changing is this part here i less than 1, less than 2, less than 3 and less than 4 so here I can write everywhere we have i less than, less than, less than, less than like that. Since this part is keep on varying, I am going to introduce a new variable called x. Then what must be the initial value of x? Then x value must be 1. So I am declaring x equal 1. x as 1. Now, see for the first row, x equal 1, i equal 0, i less than 1. So this will be iterated only once. After that new line, again we are going to start from here, i equal 0 for the second row and this thing, i less than x must value must be incremented because initially it is, it is 1. So before going to the next pass, we have to say that plus plus. Now look at this code. Second row, again. Third row, again. So every time you can see that the whole set of code is repeated. So if we have one statement or multiple set of statements to be repeated, we have to put that whole block in a, another loop. So only this part is not repeated. Only from i to i equals 0 to x plus plus. So put this in a, another while loop or a for loop. Now, how long it should be iterated? It should be iterated here 1, 2, 3, 4. So at the end of the fourth iteration, so initially x is 1, the second iteration it becomes 2, third iteration it becomes 3, fourth iteration, iteration becomes 4. Then when it becomes 5, we have to terminate. So for that we can say that x less than 5. So this is the logic for this triangle pattern. Hope that you understood. Thank you for watching.